the race. You know, just it, it went the way we planned. You know, I wanted to run faster than that, but you know, the main the main goal was to just to win the race. So I'm glad I did it. Did you have a specific plan for that last lap, or what was your tactics going into the entire race? What you know, I wanted actually to, to ban the kick out of him so that I can. I will be able to kick with him because I knew if I just took it slowly, he's gonna run something like 24, and maybe I'm not ready for 24. So I, so I really wanted him to maybe split something like 27. I, I should be able to kick with him. When he passed you at 200 to go and you went with him, did you think you were gonna be able to beat him? Did you, or did yeah, you know I, I knew that I saw the way he was running. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So I saw him looking back, looking back. I'm like, you know, we're just gonna go until wire, whoever wins it. I know that I that I fought until the end, so that was the strategy. Was indoors on the back of your mind having to beat by him twice and knowing once and then knowing trying to get your revenge here? And you know, actually, it's not it's not more of about revenge, but you know, it's bad when someone beats you twice. So when he beats you once, you know, you need to get back there and you know fight. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to do. Talk about the like last mile in general. You know, you know he's still with you. Was there any nerves that he's like, you're not going fast enough, that you're not tiring him out? Like, what was the last mile? You know, for me, actually, I knew that the pace we were doing, I knew we can kick together. So I was not worried. I knew, you know, we're going to go together and kick whoever wins it, you know. So for me, actually, I came into this race. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go over there, do my best. If my best will win the day, then that is it. Well, you're eight, though. Kennedy were trading off the lead for a couple times. You know, why did you why did you pass him? Why did you keep on passing him and push the pace? You know, actually, I wanted I wanted it to go faster, but you know, it was going a little bit slower than I expected. So wherever I came, trying to help, you know, I wanted it to go faster. So I'm like, you know what, I need to go up there and push this pace because I really wanted to win it. And you know, sometimes you have to do whatever you have to do to win. Was there contact between you guys, uh, you know, halfway down the home stretch? No, that wasn't between me and who? Between you and Edward in the home stretch. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, there was a little bit of contact, but you no know, one pushed each other, so we just went the way it was. How come, like, in the second mile, when Kofiko would come around you, you wouldn't let him leave? Like, you know, and then you I wanted it to go a little bit faster, but the way he was doing, it wasn't going as fast as I want, so, you know, I'm like, you know what, I need to push it myself. Yeah. Did you say anything to Edward after the race, or did he say anything to you? Yeah, after? yeah, we just came and hugged each other, you know, good job. Because, you know, for us, it's it's about fun, you know. It's not just about being winning this race, you know, it's about having fun out there. You know, that's what that's what the fans want. They want a race whereby it's really fun. So it's not a matter of just going there and winning it by yourself. So fighting until the end is what makes the race fun. So I really appreciate having him in there. Do you think this 5k effort that you put out is going to affect your 1500 performance tomorrow? <laughs> For me actually I think it's kind of a motivation right now because I feel excited after winning this one because this was the, it was, this was the main one for me. So tomorrow it's going to take care of itself so I'm really, I'm really happy, you know. Obviously the crowd wanted him to win but when they're that loud did it help you a lot too? You know, as I said yesterday, you know, when I hear the crowd really cheering I believe that they're cheering for me, you know. <laughs> I don't care if they're cheering for him or who. So for me, actually, it was like, you know, it's me. <laughs> so I just went until then, I'm like, you know, okay, I'm, I win the day. <laughs> for me, you know, I was like, you know, I'm just going to go there, do my best. If I'm going to win it, that is it. So I didn't have that much pressure. I'm like, you know what, I have to win this now. It was just about, you know, let me go there, do my best. If my best will win it, then that is it. Mm, I'm not actually going to do the Commonwealth because they already done the trials. So, But I didn't attend the trials because it was one week before the NCS. So I couldn't attend it. <laughs> yep, it's going to be Europe after 1500. Is it extra special? You're already the fastest man in NCAA history at 13 flat to get the meet record. I still got some trick. Did you realize you had the meet record today? Mm, I didn't realize, but yeah, you know, that's. I, I was expecting something like that, so it's, you know, it's, it's really a pleasure. It has been a pleasure running NCA, so it's really nice getting that meet record. When Edward went by you, um, you know, coming into the final time, did you sort of let him go by? Did you try and match that move, or did you think that you had You know, to I just want to, I, I let him pass to go, and then after that, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to chase him. So when I saw him looking down, I'm like, you know, I got this. So, you know. So you're going into the race before him, you talked quickly. Was the plan to let him go by, or 
let him take the lead on the last lap, or was that sort of decided right there on the spot? No, I just decided on the spot, you know. Sometimes you go to the lead. You know, I wanted to lead the whole way until then, but when I saw him coming towards the 300, trying to kick us 10,000, I'm like, you know, we're going to go together. And so we went together, and then the last 100 meters everyone was fighting. I'm like, you know, I need to put the last key and then go with it. Can you put into perspective what he's done as a freshman? What kind of future does he have? Do you think? Of course, he's a great athlete. That's what I. That's what everyone knows, and that's what I know. You know, I've tested him, and I know right now that he's really a great athlete. So, I expect to see a lot from him. So.